Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the common USB ports, USB types, and also USB devices. So you are most likely using some type of USB device on your computer, whether it's a flash drive or a keyboard or even a printer. So we're going to be discussing what types of USB devices you could use and also their port types. All right, so on this first slide here, we have some of the most common USB ports and their cables. So, you know, USB mini, micro, type C. So this is more commonly used today. Um, things for like your smartphone where they used to use something like the micro or the mini in the past. And these you could see have to go a certain way. You could only plug them in one way, but the USB-C you could plug it in either way because it's the same on both sides, which is nice. Plus, of course, it's faster than these types of connections. And then we also have the USB micro B, which is not as commonly used, but you'll see that sometimes too, especially in like older cameras. Another common type is the USB-A, which you'll have for your keyboard and mouse if you're using a wired keyboard or mouse. And the type B, which is commonly used for printers. And then you'll see here we have the USB 3, which is the same as the type A. It's just usually designated by a different color port, either red or blue, or sometimes even black. And then sometimes it'll say super speed next to it, uh, which you'll see in an upcoming slide. Okay, so here we have a breakdown of the connector types once again with their speeds and some common usage applications. All right, so type A up to 40 gigabits per second, that's gigabits, not gigabytes. Uh, type B up to 5 gigabits per second. Mini B, 480 megabits per second. Micro B, 5 gigabits per second. For the USB 3. And type C up to 40 gigabits per second. All right, then we have the versions here, so this is probably something you're familiar with. Going back to uh, USB 1.1 there, 12 megabits per second usually used for mice and keyboards and older devices. Then USB 2 was around for a long time, so 480 megabits per second, commonly used with flash drives, printers, and scanners. And then USB 3 came out, which was quite a big jump in speed here. You'll see it's called super speed, 5 gigabits per second for the 3.0, uh, commonly used for external hard drives. Uh, 3.1 Gen 2 doubles the speed there. And then we have USB 3.2, which doubles it again. And then we have the latest and greatest, USB 4, up to 40 gigabits per second. Uh, you're not going to see this in too many devices for right now until it becomes uh, more common. All right, so here are some USB PC connections that you might see on your computer. All right, so this one on the left here is the back of a computer. You can see there are different colored ports here. And these say super speed. And you can see these do not. So the thing about finding these ports, if they don't say super speed, it might just be a regular port. But then again, if it has the color, you never know. So you can't really go by the red and the uh, blue and the black to really get an idea of the speed unless it tells you exactly what it says on here. Like you see, this is super speed 10 up there. This is just regular super speed. Of course, this is a network port. And this is a USB-C port is what it looks like. So if you buy a motherboard or a computer, you'll have to kind of do a little research to see what ports are going to give you exactly what speed. If you care, most of the time you could just plug in to anything that says super speed on it and it'll be plenty fast enough for you. All right, then over here we have the front of a computer that has some USB ports as well. You can see there's a little fuzzy it says USB 2.0. And then we have our USB 3 ports here in blue. All right, so finally we're going to talk about some common USB devices. So there are a lot of devices you could use USB for. So let's start over here. You could have a USB microphone. And of course, you could always plug this into your audio input port for your sound card as well. Your webcam will be USB. Of course, your USB flash drive. So these come in the same types of standards for you know USB 1, 2, and 3, and so on. So also keep in mind, if you plug in a USB 3 flash drive, for example, into a USB 2 port, it's only going to operate at USB 2 speeds. But you can plug in a USB 1 flash drive, let's say, into a USB 3 port. It'll still run at USB 1 speed, but it'll still work. So you don't have to mix and match your uh, devices with the same port type. All right, then we have our gaming controller, another popular USB device. 
and of course our external hard drive. And you can kind of see that it uses that USB micro B connection right there. And then of course your printers, which could also be wireless, which is actually more common today. And they will use, let me go back here, the USB type B connection there, if you're using USB. And then of course, keyboards and mice. Uh, many people like to go wireless, but some people like to just plug them in so they don't have to worry about changing batteries and that type of thing. All right, so there is your overview of common USB types, ports, and devices. So for the most part, they are pretty universal, so you don't have to worry too much about you know, finding a device that matches a specific port. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.